Hello friends, today in this video we are solving second year mathematics B subject first lesson circle four marks important question in this video. So without any late, let's start our today's video. So given question is if the length of the tangents drawn from P to the point circles x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 is equals to 0 and x square plus y square plus 6x plus 18y plus 26 is equals to 0 are the ratio 2 is to 3 then find the locus of the p so given condition clearly mentioned that we have to find the locus of the p so in question asked that we have to find the locus of the P so they given two circles and we have to draw P and ratios and then find the locus of P so let's solve this problem let's solve this problem given circles x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 is equals to 0 and second circle x square plus y square plus 6x plus 18y plus 26 is equals to 0 so this is first circle this is second circle so this is an first circle and this is an second circle and given ratios given ratios 2 is to 3 so this is an ratio this is an line and this is an second circle and this is an first circle this is an second circle so and let p is equal so let P x y x comma y let P as x comma y so this is the value of P and then then we have to so the given circles are so the given circles are P A comma P B. So this is an first circle. This is an second circle. So to retain that, it is written as P A as first circle. So we know that first circle that is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 is equals to zero, and second circle is P B that is x square plus y square plus 6x plus 18y plus 26 is equal to 0 this is an second circle and now ratio is convert as 2 by 3 so let p b p a comma p b as convert into p a by p b p p a comma p b convert as P A by P B and is equal to ratio 2 is to 3 convert as 2 by 3. 2 by 3. So now it is value that is it is doing cross multiplication. Not P A is not 2. P A is not multiplying 2 but it is multiplying 3 because of cross multiplication. So it is called as cross multiplication multiplication and so 3 is multiplying pa and 2 is multiplying pb so that is 3 into pa 3 pa is equals to 2 is multiplying pb so to pb so now we have to pairing on both sides so 3 pa 
is equals to 2 pb so now squaring squaring on both sides so squaring on both sides both sides so 3 pa whole square and 2 pb whole square so 3 pa whole square as 3 into 3 3 3 square is 9 so 9 pa square as pa so 3 pb whole square as 3 3 pa square so 3 pa whole square is 3 is multiplying 2 times so 3 square is 9 and pa square pa square so 3 pb whole square as 3 sorry 9 pa square is equals to 2 pb whole square as 4 pb whole square so okay and now p and value of pa P and P B. So this is an value of P A and P B. So P A value is X square. So written as X square plus Y square and sorry minus four X minus six Y minus twelve. So this is an P A value. And is equals to now four now PB value. How much PB value is x square plus y square plus six x plus eighteen y plus twenty six. So this is an PA sorry PB value. Okay, this is an PB value and whole square p a square whole square and p b value is x square plus y plus y square plus y square plus 6 x plus 18 y plus 26 whole square so written and now 9 is multiplied this all and 4 is multiplied this all so 9 into x square so 9 into x square we know that 9 x square 9 into x square 9 x square plus 9 into y square 9 y square and minus 9 into 4 36 9 into x x and minus 9 into 6 y 9 into 6 y that is 54 y and 9 into minus 12 so that is 108 this is 108 and is equals to 4 into y square sorry 4 into x square that is 4x square plus 4 into y square 4y square plus 4 into 6x that is 24x and and plus 4 into 4 18y into so that is 72 72y and 4 into 26 that is 104 so okay then 9 into x square 9 x square plus 9 into y y square 9 y square and 9 into 6 y that is 9 54 y and 9 into minus 12 108 and 4 into y square 4 y square plus 9 4 into y square 4 y square and 4 into 
six x that is twenty four x and four into eighteen y that is four seventy sorry seventy two y and four into twenty six that is one not four. So next we have to this right side we have to take as left side transport to right side so nine x square plus nine y square minus thirty six x minus fifty four y and minus one not eight and right side become left side that is plus become minus so minus four x square minus four y square minus twenty four x and minus seventy two y and minus one not four minus one not four so nine x square and four x square that is five x square and plus nine y square and plus four y square sorry minus minus four y square that is plus five y square and minus thirty six x and minus twenty six x so that is become sixty sixty x sixty x sixty x and minus fifty five y and minus seventy two y so that is become one thirty six sorry one twenty six minus one twenty six y and minus minus one not eight and minus one not four that is minus two one two is equals to is zero so is equal is in middle it is when right side becomes left side is equal this comes right side so this is the value of p so that is 5x square plus 5y square 